guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we have the Avios MiG-17. Our buddy Jerry is being nice enough to let us fly this today. It is a beautiful airplane that I have had my eye on for a very long time and he's probably going to make me buy one today after I fly this. Um, he does have a gyro installed on this. Uh, one thing he did mention to us, and we're going to show you a little bit, if you're going to get one of these, you have to cycle the gear every time you plug in first. So what we did is we plugged in, and Jerry's going to show you that now. He's going to hit his gear cycle switch. It'll make the, de the gear doors cycle. Switch to make them go so up. he made the switch go up and then he has to put them back down and now the gear is armed. There we go. The airplane does have speed brakes that are operational. Flaps. And a fiery booty. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get this thing out there and fly it. All right, guys, here we go. Taking off the Avios MiG-17. All right, I'm going to idle back a little bit, kind of get used to it. Oh, man. It's it's uh, not as sensitive as I thought, because you said you have 100% throws on this. 150%. 150%. Its, it's roll rate is not near as what I thought it'd be. Oh, look at that fiery booty. Oh. Oh, is this an RC geek? I'm sorry. This is a geeky booty. Oh, baby. Oh, this thing is great. Dang it, Lori. I got to buy another airplane. Come into the wind and do a loop. Or, or do, a, do a roll downwind and then turn around and do a loop. All right. Oh, baby. What a pussycat. Now I see why all you guys were in love with this thing in the beginning. Look at the flicker. Oh, man. What do I got for time, Jerry? 44 seconds. Already? Holy cow. Okay, we're going to do gear pass, and I guess we're not going to do a touch and go. That's what I was going to go for. I'm power out. I'm just going to come by and put the gear out in front of everybody. Maybe. Do they take a second? It's going. Yeah, it takes a second. Well, they're coming out. They're I see one. It's a little worrying. Yeah. I only have one gear. Bring it around again. Just keep it at half and then you'll save some. And I'm trying to miss it. I only see one. All right, we're going to cycle again. Okay, I'm going to go gear up and land it in the grass. No, 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 no. Hold on. We got time. The battery, it doesn't take all that. Okay, I'm going to go for a full cycle again then. I'm letting them come up. Cycle again. I'm coming by. I've they're, they're hit. They're out. They're supposed to be out. Okay, okay I got them. You got three. Huh? All right. So put your flaps down one notch. I'll do it. Oh, you got it. I got it. Okay. Now, when you hit base, pull your power back. Hit that left slider for the speed brake. All the way to the top. Yep. All right. And now settle it out on the center line. Ah, oh, first timer. <laughs> no, 
and we'll hit the switch back at the end of four. Sorry guys, it's my first time. I got another battery to drive. <laughs> it flew great though. Yeah. You know, it's part of the hobby though. Sometimes the gear can play tricks on you. She came out, we just had to mess with a little bit. Stay calm, stay with it. If I will say, if I would have not got both gear out, I would have put them up, my personal preference guys, and landed it in the grass without the wheels. <laughs> but I'm just telling you what I would personally do with a jet. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Well, there you go, guys. There was our flight with the Avios MIG. I'd like to get one of these and do it a little bit more. This is a lot of fun. I'm sure Jerry will let us get on the sticks again another time. Uh, you know, we got a little unlucky. One of the gear didn't come down. It happens sometimes in this hobby, guys. You know, if you have an issue like that, go up, cycle them a couple times. If you can't get them down for some reason, I recommend these jets. You belly land them out in the grass. You won't tear near as much stuff up. If you try and land with three wheels, that's when you rip wheels out. Um, other than that, this airplane is extremely stable, a lot of fun. It's what I thought it was going to fly like from me having the little free wing before. This is fantastic, guys. So I think I'm probably going to end up with one in the future. I hope you check one out. And if you do, let us know. Let us see if you paint it. Like, share, subscribe, check out the Boozer merch store, all that good stuff. And we will see y'all in the next video.